Hardcore Iron Man Limited to PvP Worlds, we are getting closer to reaching our end goal of achieving an Inferno Cape, and the bounty for killing my Hardcore Iron Man have for the last month been 1 billion GP. The plan is simple, I want to complete Barrows, and to do so I need 4 items. However, there is only one item that I really need, and that's the Aram's Bottom. And we start Barrows with kill count number 70, Varax Plate Skirt. Run. That's the easiest escape of my life. We get another Varax Plate Skirt. You guys have to forgive me for this, I left Barrows to do my weekly Tears of Gothics for 4 rune crafting levels. I'm pretty sure I saw someone standing, right? Yep, there's someone over there. Good luck, mate. We got an Arim's hood. Well, look, he's still here. Look at him. He's waiting for me to show up. Let's wave to the PK right there. I'll let him live this time, but if, if I see him once again, I'm gonna kill him. Just something, please. Just something. Darox plate legs. I think this is like my fifth Darox plate legs. Yeah, I was correct. That's my fifth Darox plate legs. Oh, we got Darox plate body. We already got that. Oh, shit. have three brews. I need to find a cave. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Get out of here. Oh, I made it. Same door. Oh my god. Please don't cut this door. Oh! Out of every door, he had the exact same door. I'm gonna die, boys. This might be it, boys. This might be it. It's all about the venom. One minute left. The venom is strong. Oh my god, guys. This might be it. Thirty seconds, TV. Come on. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> Willicky. Who the fuck is Willicky? We almost just ended the series. I don't think you can see this, but I, my fingers are shaking. This is the first time ever I felt this. I don't know when he saw me. Who is this guy? He's a solo PKer. Willicky2 on Twitter. Alright, I'm taking a big break. The worst part is, 
I had to use four brews for that tank. I don't have any brews left. It is 24 hours later and every time I get close to dying I take a step back and analyze what just happened. And in this case I only have one question. How did he know I was in the Darox tunnel? Was he scouting me from afar? Could he just coincidentally been standing on the Darox hill? Or was he potentially scouting me from a different barrels room? These are all questions I have no answer to. I don't think I'll be going back to Barrows anytime soon. That's probably the stupidest thing I could do. Why you bullying me? 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 Can we get like one of the four items I do not have? Why you bullying me? 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 I'm on such a dry streak at Barrows and this will be my final trip. I don't have any supplies left. This is going to be the final chest. We have done a total of 112 barrel chests today. And we get nothing. The first thing we need to be able to go back to Barrows, broad bolts. 67 fletching. And that is 5,800 broad bolts later. The second thing we need is one of Stockholm's best burgers. And then we're gonna need some runners for prey potions. And that is 29 runners later. It didn't take me too long actually, only it took me 1 hour and 20 minutes. And then we need to open this hard clue casket for a third age amulet. I'm gonna get some Mortmire fungus for energy potions. That will definitely speed up the barrels runs. And a little fun fact for you guys, you can actually get Mortmire fungus if you cast blooms on the swamp crabs. 57 herblor. And I'm dead. Oh, he'll save me. All right, that's cool. I am teasing the noobs. <laughs> I'm so. Why did I do that? Why, why did I even risk that? 58 herblor. Now we can actually buy ourselves a herb sack. However, I can't afford it yet, but it's gonna be very, very useful for when I can actually afford one. Herb sack, info. Yeah, we're gonna need uh, like 400 points more. However, my main priority is to get the bruise I lost back. Therefore, I'm at the under druids. I just accidentally sipped a brew. Oh my god. Yeah, we got 94 range. That was like 200k range experience without getting a single groovy key. Nice, we got a casket from the hard clue scroll we just got from under druids. Let's open this one. Three, two, one. Good luck. Armadillo page. Ah, I like that one. Sharks, I like that one. The rest is absolutely crap. And we got another casket for absolutely... Oh, 14 sharks. I like that. The drop rate for one of these are 1 in 75. I think I killed 500 for my first one. Just give me the bruise in the first chest. Thank you very much. No bruise. Another groovy key. Never lucky. Another groovy key. Never lucky. Another groovy key. Never lucky. Running around with nothing on a PvP world on a hard crime and is pretty scary if you ask me. Fairytale part 2 for a hard clue scroll, completed. And we got another casket and we scrolled up for the extra bonus luck, so 3, 2, 1. Yeah, there was no luck in that skull. If you ever wonder what the current bounty is for killing my hard crime, just go into my CC, C Engineer, and you can read it at the top, one bill bounty. Another groovy key. Ooh, we got him. We got the Bruce. Nice. I'm so happy. So Willikie made me lose 4 brews in total. I'm gonna need at least 3 brews back for the future in case I need them. That means one more brew drop from the undead druids and I'm good. Another groovy key, never lucky. And we are back with a new casket. Let's get lucka till, grabbar. Lucka till. Shall we? We fick absolute ingenting. We are back to Tears of Good Eggs for our weekly two runecrafting levels this time. I decided to test my luck at Bruce by going to call fight Queen instead. Every kill you get, there's 11% chance you get a Saradon and Brew. There it is. Good fight. We got the Restore, not the Brew though, but that's still a good drop. And we get Prayer Potion, Ah, I use the flicking method every time I kill call fight Queen, so every kill takes up to 15 minutes each. There it is, another kill. Bad drop, very very bad drop. There we go, another kill. Give us a brew please, thank you. We got a restore. I'm always happy with the restores. Range potion and random weed, nice. Ranging potion, that's not what I want. Red dehyde body. See engineer, why did you leave Calvin Queen? You didn't even get a single serotonin brew. Since you guys asked so nicely, I'm going to tell you why I left the Calvite Queen. 
It all started December the 5th, when Jagex created a fantastic update, the boss high scores. However, this update came with a price. Every time I'm doing a boss and have to log out, the high score will be updated. And everyone who's hunting me will know the boss I'm killing. And for this reason, I will have to change what I'm doing in-game more frequently. Another grab a key, and we get nothing. Another grab a key, and we get nothing. Look at that, Angelica, we got another grab a key. And we get nothing. Blah 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 I think I've lost too many brain cells making this episode. Alright, we might end this video with a banging clue scroll. Opening this casket will be the final thing I do in this episode and potentially the final thing you see from this account this year. I mean a few weeks leaving on a vacation to Thailand, so I'll be gone for a few weeks. So I just wanna say thank you all for the continued support throughout the year. And now let's hope Jagex got my good Christmas present in this casket. Yeah, they got me absolute shit. I don't know if you can see it, but look how much my mouse is shaking. I'm shaking like solo mission.